The pushing and the shoving, the screaming and the tears, the shouting all around me, it's ringing in my ears. Faces that were left behind appear throughout the day. I've tried so hard to block them, but they still won't stay away. The words of a firefighter diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. He chooses rhyme to express feelings of despair. I'm left behind with nightmares. Bad temper, flashbacks, fear. Although he may feel like it, he's not alone. One particular incident um, had quite a significant impact on me mentally. It made me um, unwell and ultimately I was diagnosed with PTSD. Mark Hare became a firefighter 16 years ago. In 2010, he was involved in a significant incident that didn't go to plan. He thinks about it every single day. I'd realised I'd become a little bit grumpier than normal. Um, irrational thoughts and behaviours, nightmares, flashbacks, etc. Um, but the, the real final catalyst for me realising something was wrong was when uh, I broke down crying and my three-year-old daughter had her arm around my neck and was telling me that it's, it's all right, that is my fault. Uh, and you'll be OK and I'm sorry. Well, that's not her fault. And that's when I was like, actually, Something's not right. Um, and to put my hand up and ask for help at that point was the right thing to do. There are two crews on their way, right? Yes, about four minutes away. Yeah, put some down. It's not just on the front line. Those behind the scenes are affected too. It's all right. Please don't let it's me okay. Die. You'll be out there at any second. Yeah, thank you. You're all right. Okay, You're all right, you. Beth. You're all right. Thank you. But who protects the protectors? The uniform is no mental shield. Hello, fire service. Can you tell me your address, please? And so the day goes on. It's scenarios just like this that has led Hampshire Fire and Rescue to try and change a culture of silent suffering with their Let's Talk About It campaign. One of the tools in their armory is through peer support called TRIM, which stands for Trauma Risk Management. Nearly 40% of firefighters think colleagues would treat them differently in a negative way if they speak about mental health issues at work, which makes the TRIM initiative even more important. And I'd like you to just follow the light um, and just notice what comes up in your body. TRIM is a really perfect way of trying to get people to talk about it. A specialist group of people that are quite close with each other, that go and deal with difficult incidents and are united to be able to support somebody through a difficult incident they've been through, to be able to risk assess whether they need further support and where to get that from. Similar schemes are run in Sussex, Dorset and Wiltshire. While well, last year 264 emergency service personnel were referred to Royal Berkshire's Occupational Health Unit. We get people who come to work who don't book sick with, with mental health issues, who'd rather book sick with something else rather than say, I've got a mental health issue which I need help with. Some employers are very good, other ones are a little bit behind the curve. With 7,000 fewer firefighters and 17,000 fewer police officers since 2010, pressures at work have increased. PTSD caused former transport policeman Gary to drink heavily. It nearly cost him his marriage and his children. Well, there was no one in the job to help me recognise the signs and symptoms of PTSD and what it could do. It was a dreadful period of time. The thought of someone suffering in the manner that my wife and children have, uh, it breaks my heart. Gary's now set up a charity to help current and former service personnel share the burden of living with PTSD. If we can help one person, one family member, then we've achieved. And it's, just, it's also about re-educating people, and especially the services, because, you know, it's just expected of you. You're a roughly toughly cop, firefighter, ambulance, paramedic, technician, whatever, driver. Um, it's expected of you just to get on and deal with it. Nearly 150 current serving police officers are being monitored for their own health and well-being by the police federation across the country. Many more are deemed to be vulnerable and at risk. The key for emergency services in the South is to break the taboo and undo decades of stigma around mental health. We need people to understand and accept the fact that mental health 
issues do occur within the emergency services as well as in the uh, broader environment and it's not anything to be ashamed of and we should be happy to talk. Lewis Coombs, BBC South Today.